Today, pre-trial chamber one of the International Criminal Court, composed of Judge Akua Kwenyehia from Ghana, the presiding judge, Judge Anita Uchaska from Latvia, and Judge Sylvia Steiner from Brazil, issued a warrant of arrest for the arrest of Omar Hassan Hamad al-Bashir, the president of Sudan, for war crimes and crimes against humanity. Omar al-Bashir is suspected of being criminally responsible as an indirect co-perpetrator or in the alternative as an indirect perpetrator for intentionally directing attacks against an important part of the civilian population of Darfur, Sudan. Murdering, exterminating, raping, torturing, and forcibly transferring large numbers of civilians and pillaging their property. This is the first warrant of arrest ever issued for a sitting head of state by the International Criminal Court. Omar al-Bashir's official capacity as a sitting head of state does not exclude his criminal responsibility, nor does it grant him immunity against prosecution before the International Criminal Court, according to pre-trial chamber one. According to the judges, the above mentioned crimes were allegedly committed during a five-year counter-insurgency campaign by the government of Sudan against the Sudanese Liberation Movement Army, SLM slash A, the Justice and Equality Movement, and other armed groups opposing the government of Sudan in Darfur. It is alleged that this campaign started soon after the April 2003 attack on El Fasher Airport as a result of a common plan agreed upon at the highest level of the government of Sudan by Omar al-Bashir and other high-ranking Sudanese political and military leaders. It lasted at least until the 14th of July 2008, which is the date of the filing of the prosecution application for the warrant of arrest for Omar al-Bashir. A core component of that campaign was the unlawful attack on that part of the civilian population of Darfur, belonging largely to the Four, Masalit, and Zarawa groups, perceived to be close to the organized armed groups opposing the government of Sudan in Darfur. The said civilian population was to be unlawfully attacked by government of Sudan forces including the Sudanese armed forces and their allied Janjaweed militia, the Sudanese police force, the National Intelligence and Security Service, and the Humanitarian Aid Commission. The chamber found that Omar al-Bashir, as the de jure and de facto president of Sudan, and Commander-in-Chief of the Sudanese Armed Forces is suspected of having coordinated the design and implementation of the counter-insurgency campaign. In the alternative, it is also found that there are reasonable grounds to believe that he was in control of all branches of the apparatus of the state of Sudan and used such control to secure the implementation of the counter-insurgency campaign. The warrant of arrest for Omar al-Bashir lists seven counts on the basis of his individual criminal responsibility under Article 25, Paragraph 3A of the Rome Statute, and they include the following. 
five counts of crimes against humanity. Murder, Article 7, Paragraph 1A. Extermination, Article 7, 1B. Forcible transfer, Article 7, 1D. Torture, Article 7, 1F. And rape, Article 7, 1G. Then there are two counts of war crimes. The first, intentionally directing attacks against a civilian population as such, or against individual civilians, not taking direct part in hostilities. That is Article 8.2 EI. And pillaging, Article 8.2 EV. The majority of the chamber, Judge Anita Uchaska dissenting, found that the material provided by the prosecution in support of its application for a warrant of arrest failed to provide reasonable grounds to believe that the government of Sudan acted with specific intent to destroy in whole or in part the four Masalit and Zarawa groups. Consequently, the crime of genocide is not included in the warrant issued for the arrest of Omar al-Bashir. Nevertheless, the judges stressed that if additional evidence is gathered by the prosecution, the decision would not prevent the prosecution from requesting an amendment to the warrant of arrest in order to include the crime of genocide. Now that a warrant of arrest has been issued for Omar al-Bashir, the judges have directed the registrar to prepare and transmit, as soon as practicable, a request for cooperation for the arrest and surrender of Omar al-Bashir to Sudan and to all states parties to the Rome Statute the founding instrument of the court, and all United Nations Security Council members that are not party to that statute, as well as to any other state as may be necessary. The judges found that according to the resolution 1593 of UN Security Council, and Articles 25 and 100 of the UN Charter, the obligation of the government of Sudan to fully cooperate with the court prevails over any other international obligation that the government of Sudan may have undertaken pursuant to any other international agreement. Pre-trial Chamber 1 also found that the government of Sudan has systematically refused to cooperate with the court since the issuance of, warrest, or of warrant for the arrest of the Sudanese Minister for Humanitarian Affairs, Ahmad Aoun, and a regional Janjaweed militia leader, Ali Kushaib, on 2 May 2007. As a result, the judges emphasized that according to Article 87, Paragraph 7, of the Rome Statute, if the government of Sudan continues to fail to comply with its cooperation obligations to the court, the competent chamber may make a finding to that effect and decide to refer the matter to the Security Council. Furthermore, the judges noted that the dispositive part of UNSC resolution 1593 expressly urges all states, whether party or not, to the Rome Statute, as well as international and regional organizations to cooperate fully with the court. That was my statement. I now give the floor to the registrar, Ms. Silvana Arbia, for her own step. 